hello everyone today i am going to show you guys how to create this parametric ceiling in revit i had designed this ceiling for one of my projects in the master's course this is the plan of a single ceiling panel each panel is squarish and has a diagonal length of four feet this square is composed of four similar triangles which are joined together at the center and at the corners each triangular part of this panel move upwards at this point and and then this point here and this point here move towards this central point so this is the simple parametric process by which this panel opens and closes to create this panel open new family template file of curtain panel pattern paste First of all, I need diagonal shape, so click here, then click on this pattern panel and click on rhomboid. I want the horizontal spacing to be 2 feet 0 inches. Also, change the vertical spacing as 2 feet 0 inches. Now, the diagonal size is 4 feet between each two points. Now select line and join these two points and then these two points. Now draw a line from the center point towards the center of this line. Again draw a smaller line from the center of this newly drawn line towards the center decrease the size of this line towards the center now simply select and rotate copy these two these two lines in each of the other three triangular parts Now select this point, make sure draw on work plane is selected and place element, place this point element in the center of these lines. Now again select this point element, make sure draw on face is selected and place 8 points, 2 on each line as shown in the video. The points are all placed on zero level. Now make a new parameter with the name moving height. I am going to assign a value of 4 inches to this parameter. Now select these four central points. Then go to this offset and assign a parameter of moving height to these points. Now all of these points have moved upwards. Now if you change the value of this moving point here, the points will also change their offsets. Now we know the height of this side which is the moving height and we also know the length of this side which is the length from here to here, basically the center point of this straight line. But we don't know the height of this area, sorry this length. So what I am going to do is I am going to use the Pythagoras theorem which is a square is equal to b square plus c e square to know the value of this length. So assign a parameter to this line.
Now make a new parameter with the name base and enter the formula of Pythagoras theorem to know the length of base which is square root of parenthesis length raised the power of 2 minus moving height raised the power of 2. Click OK and now go to plan. Select this point, go to its properties, select segment length from here, assign a parameter of base to this point. Repeat this process on this point as well. But before that, change measure from end to this eight to this point and then assign parameter of base to it you can also select multiple points at the same time and assign parameter to it this measurement actually means that upon this length upon this line at which point these reference points will be placed Now you can see that when I change the height of moving height parameter, all of the points change their positions and move accordingly. Now select this line and connect all these points as shown in the video. Make sure 3D snapping is on before you connect these points. The line diagram looks like this. Now make a new parameter with the name thickness and assign a value of 1 by 4 inches to it. Now select these three lines of this triangle and click on create form. Click here and assign a parameter of movie of thickness here. Repeat this process on all of the other triangular parts.
now go to 3d open properties box and change this value to check if the panels are working correctly Select this whole panel, click curtain panels here, so only surfaces are selected and I am going to assign a material of brass to these panels. The panel is now complete. And it looks like this. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any queries, feel free to ask. Also, if you want me to upload any specific tutorial, tell me anytime. Do watch my other videos as well. In my next video, I am going to I am going to create a ceiling with the help of this panel. Do watch that. Stay tuned and most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials.